This video presented by Julie Staggers Orthodontics is going to talk about orthodontic relapse and that is shifting of the teeth after orthodontic treatment. What causes orthodontic relapse depends on several things. The first thing you want to consider is people who have more severe problems like this to start with are more likely to see shifting of the teeth afterwards than people who have mild problems like this. Orthodontic relapse also depends on the type of problem that you have to start with. People with spaces like this are more likely to see the spaces come back after orthodontic treatment than people who have just crooked teeth like this. If you have severely rotated teeth like this, these rotations tend to want to recur after orthodontic treatment. Open bites, which is the insufficient overlap of the front teeth, are probably the hardest thing to keep fixed in orthodontic treatment. Anyone with a severe open bite like this is more likely to see some relapse than somebody who doesn't have this particular problem. Now, if the open bite is just a little bit, those have less tendency to relapse than severe open bites. The presence of wisdom teeth can play a role in the shifting of the teeth after orthodontic treatment. If you have wisdom teeth, particularly lower wisdom teeth that are in poor position like this, or even worse position like this, it's always a good idea to have them removed in order to minimize the shifting of the teeth after treatment. The most effective way to minimize the shifting of the teeth after your braces is to wear your orthodontic retainer. This is probably the number one cause for teeth shifting after orthodontic treatment is not wearing the retainers. You should wear your retainer full time for at least a year and then nighttime as long as you want to. Retainers can be pretty colors like this or there are clear type of retainers available as well. Permanent retainers are an excellent idea for the lower teeth. If you'll do two things, first you need to clean around the retainers well to keep food and plaque from building up on the retainers. And secondly, you must restrict your diet to all the restrictions as far as hard candy, sticky candy, chewing gum that go with braces also need to be eliminated as long as you're wearing a permanent retainer. If you don't restrict your diet when you have a permanent retainer, what can happen is the retainer can break and then the teeth are free to move wherever they want to. So if you don't want to restrict your diet for hard and sticky candy, then a permanent retainer is probably not a good idea for you. The one thing that we really can't control as orthodontists is growth of the jaws after orthodontic treatment has been completed. And this was primarily a problem for patients whose lower jaw outgrows the upper jaw. And this is usually a genetic problem that you inherited just like you inherit the color of your hair or the color of your eyes. For the people with this particular problem, if their lower jaw grows more after orthodontic treatment than their upper jaws, they are more likely to see shifting of the teeth than if that doesn't happen. And sometimes overgrowth of the lower jaw is hard to predict. Only about 3% of people have this particular problem, so it's not a big cause of relapse overall. Even with the best of all scenarios, with an easy problem to fix, a mild problem to start with, and no disproportional growth after treatment, and good retainer wear, teeth don't stay 100% picture perfect forever. Teeth are like every part of their bodies. They do change a bit with age, and that's not for the better. Now, they don't go back to the way they were before orthodontic treatment, but you can expect to have a certain amount of changes throughout life. 
I hope you found this video informative. If you have further questions about teeth shifting after orthodontic treatment or you're considering having orthodontic treatment, please give us a call here at Julie Staggers Orthodontics.